Andy Scott, four days on from Woking, is it relief that's still the main emotion? Um, yeah, I think that you, you, after the relief, it's, uh, you know, the, it, it, it kicks in really, that the achievement, it's the hard work you put in. Um, you, know, but, um, you know, to be honest, we're focused towards towards Hereford game, we want to finish off on a high, we want to, we want to win the game, we want to do the right thing, we want to perform in front of the big crowd and, and, and really finish the season off in style. And that is it. It, it. it is important, hopefully in front of a big, a big home crowd, to go out on a high. Absolutely. You know, it's um, we've worked ever so hard to get ourselves in this position, and we want to finish as most uh, as many points as possible, um, and go out entertaining the crowd and, and finish it off. And the players deserve, you know, to put on a performance for the fans, and the fans deserve to see one. So, yeah, we want to make it a, a really good occasion, and you know, that will certainly be rounded off if we can win the game. And. There could so easily have been something resting on on the game for Aldershot Town as well. It's not quite there, but the grace of God. But certainly, you need to be honest to Hereford as well. Absolutely, you know we've we've got a duty to the competition and to ourselves and to Chester and to everybody else. You know I think that Tamworth have shown in the last few weeks is that you know their attitude has been completely professional. They've picked up points, and um, you know we want to go into every game, you know, winning it, and that's been our mantra all season and that's what we want to finish off with and uh, you know we've been on an unbelievable run recently we've got a very good record we want to finish off with another win um, and that will just uh, finish it off on a high we know Hereford have obviously got to come here and win and hope that you know Chester don't win um, so it's going to be a tough game and it's, they're going to bring a few you know quite a few fans down and um, you know, sure it could be a, it could be a good day if we if we can perform the way we want it and after the problems of last summer, I guess every everybody connected with Aldershot Town can empathise and sympathise with what Hereford United are going through. Absolutely, it's, um, it's not a nice situation to be in. But from our point of view, we, we're concentrating on ourselves. You know, we've we've done that all season. No one's really helped us out um, at all. We've, it's been all our own doing and all our own work that's got us to this position, and that's what we'll carry on. You know, what the other clubs have done. There's several clubs in the position where you, where they're not paying players or struggling financially. You know, we we can't um, we can't worry about what what other teams do. We've got to worry about what we do and make sure that we complete the season properly. And in this situation, maybe some managers might be tempted to rotate their squad a bit, rest a few players, but that's not an option that you've you've really been able to have all season. No, we, you know, the last couple of games we've had three players in the stand, which is the first time we've had that for probably near the full season. So, um, you know, we're going to play the strongest team possible. Look at the lads today. There's obviously a lot of tired legs after Monday, but um, hopefully after a few days off, you know, get that coming today, ready and ready to go, and train well today, ready for ready for tomorrow. And as you say, the, the momentum over the last over the last month, six weeks has, has been fantastic. The number of points won, and that can be the catalyst to go into the summer and, and keep it going into next season. Yeah, everyone wants to finish on a high. It just uh, gives you confidence going into next year. No, no, we can compete. You know, we want to do the double over Hereford. Um, you know, we want to pick up as many points as possible, and it gives us a, a marker for next year. And uh, you know, we've learnt a lot of lessons this year. We want to make it, we yeah, use those into into the next campaign. If we can do that <coughs> with another win here, and just uh, make sure that um, we do the job professionally, then we'll be happy. Mm. And you say relief, but there's there's now also determination, ambition. You said on Monday before you'd even left the pitch at Kingfield, you were planning for next season. I guess the, the hard work has already started. Yeah, we've got a plan for next year. We've got players that are out of contract and players you know, that have got um, clauses that mean that they've triggered years next year. So that obviously takes a chunk out of the budget. Um, you know, we'll be seeing what the budget is and you know, whether, whether we you know, can be competitive or whether it's going to be cut or whatever. We, you know, the financial implications of last year, obviously, um, you know, had, had a big impact on us, but um, you know we've, we've we've had some pretty decent crowds this season, We've averaged around 1,900. Um, but we haven't got any football league money coming from us from last year, and that's got to be factored into it. So as soon as we know what the budget is, then we can determine whether we'll be, you know, be able to go for a push for it, or whether we'll be able to consolidate, or whether we'll have another another season where we're, we're battling. And hopefully that's not the case. And with most players out of contract, you, you clearly don't want a, another rebuilding job. Last season was was what it was, but you want to try and have a bit of uh, continuity. 
Yeah, that's right. We want to, want to try and reward the players that have done well for us this year. Um, but equally, we want to bring players in that are going to be competitive. But again, that's down to the budget and what, what players we can bring in. And uh, until we know that, we don't know. I don't want to keep building a side every year. Um, but, um, you know, we've said that we're going to run the club properly <coughs> and uh, we're not going to you know, push ourselves too much. But clearly there's some, there's some big sides in this league who spend a lot of money and... Um, it's tough to compete, but you know you've got to find a way. And the phrase "team Aldershot has has loomed large over recent weeks, and, and justifiably so. And the spirit that the team have got here—it's not just the quality that the players bring; it's that nucleus and that understanding and the togetherness that you fostered that you'd be loath to lose. Absolutely, it's very difficult to have that sort of uh, atmosphere, and you know that we, when when we really needed everyone to step up. They did that, and that was a group effort for staff as well as as well as the players. And it's it's hard to, to like you say, to keep that and generate that. It's uh, it takes takes a special bond between a group of players, and to lose that is <coughs> very hard to rekindle it. And it takes a while, so we want to keep that as much as possible. But again, we're in the in the, in the hands of finances, and that's where we where we are with it. And um, <coughs> you know, <coughs> if we can finish off with a big crowd tomorrow, that might help. Um, boost things and give us more confidence. We can get more more fans next year, and we we can see <coughs> that that spirit in full evidence tomorrow afternoon. As you say, a big crowd. It should be a, a, a good competitive game with with Hereford needing to win. Mm-hmm. So it is a, a good way to to go out and and really for people to have fond memories of that spirit and the togetherness and the way the club have come back so strong. Well, absolutely, it's been it's been an up and down season. Um, you know, we've we've had lots of you know trials and tribulations, and you know it's been a lot of emotions. But you know, it's a time to come together and sort of celebrate the fact that we've got through it. And, and it's not just this season; it's the fact that all the fans and everybody else got together in the close season last year to make sure that we were able to put this campaign together. So. You know that's what we want to do. We want to make it a party atmosphere, but you know it'd be a better party if we're performing well on the pitch and scoring goals and winning the game.